At this place in history, we're in Williamstown with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, what brings us here? Williamstown was the birthplace of Thomas Davenport, the inventor of the first electric motor. So what runs at cars and trains and trolleys and even my electric drill at home, all thanks to this guy. And he was born here in Williamstown? He was born here, had a, had a hard life, you know, very poor farm family, ended up being apprenticed to uh, Enoch Howe in this house here, learned the blacksmith trade, and then he ended up in Brandon, Vermont. There was a lot of iron smelting going on in Brandon uh, where he practiced being a blacksmith. Ultimately, he got very interested in electromagnets. After a visit to an iron ore mine in Crown Point, New York, and had this brainstorm that he could take an electromagnet and, and somehow make it move to then create an electric motor. So an electromagnet um, at the time was a soft iron core with copper wire wrapped around it and then I had uh, one end usually had a copper probe and the other had a zinc probe that went into a galvanic battery. So think uh, potato batteries that you like ever made in school where you, you stick the two probes in the potato. And so scientists had figured out that you could make a, a magnet that ran on this electricity that was created by this battery. They were using it in the mine to uh, attract uh, small bits of iron. So he was at the mine watching these this um, electromagnet pull small bits of iron out of the, the dirt and, and whatnot. And he noticed that it moved when it came into contact with these bits of iron. And so he bought the magnet, brought it home to tinker with it, and realized that if you put one magnet inside a horseshoe-shaped or a round-shaped electromagnet, that they would start to turn when you electrified it. And so he said, great, we'll make a motor. And long story short, he traveled around the eastern seaboard getting investors. Uh, he ended up patenting it in 1837. The patent model is down in the Smithsonian right now. And then he went on to create a little model of a, a train that ran around a small round track to prove to people that an electric motor could drive a, a train. You just needed enough power to do it. Now, he died poor and destitute, as most inventors do, at age 49. He was born in 1802, and so he, he died at age 49, uh, but his invention lived on, and, you know, 10, 20 years later, you saw it starting to drive trolleys throughout the United States and, and all other forms of locomotion. At this place in history.